Hello friends, welcome to my channel Genius Kids. Today again I come up with a new video for the class 4 IOM previous year question paper part 2. In part 1, I already gave 10 questions. I solved all these 10 questions and I discuss you all the 10 questions. Now in this chapter, in this video, I will discuss remaining 10 questions of the mathematics section. Okay, so let's start. It's the question numbers in this section is 11 to 20. The remaining uh, 10 questions we will share in the part 3. And friends who are still not subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and share with your friends for more videos uh, about the Olympiad preparations and different type of practice sets. Okay. Thank. Okay. Let's start. So now the question is. The price of 1 kg apples is twice that of 1 kg of guava. Okay. Prisha brought 3 kgs of guavas and 2 kgs of apples. If the price of 1 kg of guava is rupees 40, then how much did she spend on buying the fruits? Okay. So, what are the conditions? First condition is that. 1 kg of guava sorry 1 kg of apple is twice into 1 kg of guava 1 kg of apple price to 1 kg of guava price okay now 1 kg of guava price is 1 kg guava price is rupees 40 so, how much 1 kg of apple? 1 kg of apple price? 1 kg of apple price then is twice of 1 kg of guava. So, twice of rupees 40 that will give you rupees 80. Okay. Now, Prisha brought 3 kgs of guava. So, 3 kgs of guava price is 40 into 3 that is rupees 120 and 2 kgs of apples price is how much rupees 18 to 2 that is 160 so how much total she spend for buying fruits that is rupees 120 plus rupees 160 and this give you rupees 280 okay so rupees 280 she spend on buying fruits so uh, option c is your correct answer okay Next question, if the cost of 12 notebooks is rupees 288 and the cost of 9 pens is rupees 135, then what will be the cost of 2 pens and 5 notebooks? Okay, let's do 12 notebooks, that price is rupees 288. So, one, what is the one notebook price? That is 288 divided by 12 and this gave you 24. If you divide 288 by 12, it is give you 24. So one notebook price is rupees 24. Then how much price of the five notebook is? Five notebook is 24 into 5 that will rupees 120. Okay. Similarly, nine pence price is rupees 135. So, what is the one pen price? That is price of one pen that is 135 divided by 9 and this give you rupees 15. So, how much two pence price? Two pence price is 15 into 2 that is rupees 30. So, what is the total cost? Total cost is 120 plus 30 this give you 150 rupees 150. So, option B is your correct answer. Okay. Okay. Go for the next question. Which one of the following shows a pair of rectangles? If you see, this is a triangle, this is a trapezium, no, this is a circle, and this is a square, this is a two, uh, this is a uh, pentagon, and this is a some um, uh, some uh, uh, this is not a square, not a rectangle, 
and if you see option D, option D is your correct answer that these are the two pair of rectangles. So option D is your correct answer. Consider the figure given below to choose the correct options. What is the number of lines in the figure is 5, number of rays in figure 22, both A and B are true, both A and B are not true. So what are the lines? So lines are A, B is one line, A, B is one line, C, D is another line, O, N is another line, L, M is another line, J, K is another line. So how many lines are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 lines are there. Okay. And what is the raise? Raise means from one point to this one. So this, when you see this one, this is one ray. So if we see in point E, how many rays are there? See, 1, 2, 3, EB, 4, EGO, 5, and EM, 6 okay so in point e point e there are six rays similarly in point f there are one two three four four rays point g one two three four one two three four one two three four so in point g there are four similarly point h one two 3, 4, and I, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. So, how many rays are there? This is 22 rays. So, 5 lines, 22 rays. So, A is also correct, B is also correct. Both A and B are true. So, option C is your correct answer. Okay. Next question. The angle which measures 120 degree is an obtuse angle acute angle reflex angle right angle so how one uh, angle 120 degree looks it looks like this one 120 degree this one okay this is one 120 degree this angle is 120 degree so obtuse angle is such of angle this angle is greater than obtuse angle is such an angle this greater than 90 degree greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree so this is an obtuse angle so option a is an obtuse angle okay 120 is an obtuse angle next question there are three triangles shown below one of which is an isosceles triangle find out the perimeter of this isosceles triangle now what is this means by isosceles triangle isosceles triangle is, is something that that two sides are equal this is a condition of an isosceles triangle so if you see in these three triangles you see the third triangle where two sides are equal so 3.6 centimeter 3.6 centimeter but if you see in other triangles there are different type of different uh, length of these sides so of this one is an isosceles triangle So what now I want to say there is now they find out they ask to find out the perimeter. Perimeter is that the sum of all the three sides. So sum of all the three sides is 3.6, 3.6 and 5.4. If you see 6, 6, 12 plus 4, 16, 3 plus 3, 6, plus 5, 11 plus 1, 12. 12.6 centimeter. So what is the perimeter? Perimeter of this isolated triangle is 12.6 centimeter. So option C is here. A is correct. Next one, find the area of the shaded portion. Shaded portion if what is the condition? The area of the square ABCD. So as area of the square ABCD is three times the area of the triangle. Triangle means PQR. So now there is a given that the side one side of this uh, square is 21 centimeter. Now what is the area of a square? What is the area of a square? It's side into side. So its side is 21 centimeter into 21 centimeter. Centimeter. So this will give you what you give 4, 
41 centimeter square. Remember centimeter square why? Centimeter into centimeter it gives you centimeter square. So area of the square is 441 centimeter square. Now what now the area of the square is three times the area of the triangle. Now then what is the area of the triangle? Area of the triangle, then area of the triangle is three times of this. So three times less than uh, of the square. So this will give you one four seven centimeter square. So area of the square is four forty one centimeter square. This one is total four forty one square. This one is one forty seven centimeter square. So, what is the difference? Difference is 441 by 147. So, this gives you 492, 294 centimeter square. Okay. So, option C is your correct answer. Next one. If each shape given below has equal line segments, equal line segments means all the lines are same, equal, then which one of the following shapes has perimeter less than 25 centimeter? So we need to find out the perimeter of these figures. So for the first figure, one side is 5 centimeter and all the line segments are same. So how many line segments in the first figure? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So one side is 6 centimeter. Then the perimeter of the first one is 5 centimeter into six line segments that give you six thirty centimeter okay so 30 centimeter which is greater than 25 centimeter so option a is not correct option b <coughs> one side is two centimeter then all the line segments means these 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 all the line segments are two centimeter okay so how many line segments in this figure one two three four 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so 2 cm into 12 line segments, this give you 24 cm. So, 25 cm is less than 25 cm, then it is correct. But we see the third options also. So, one side is 2.5 cm and how many line segments are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 2.5 cm into 10 this give you 25 centimeter which is equal to 25 centimeter but option b which is less than 25 centimeter it is greater than it is less than and this is equal so option b is your correct answer okay next one the given line graph show, tells us about the distance of five employees of an organization from their homes to their workplace radhe prem vinod ankit devendra which one of the following has his home nearest to the organization? So if you see Prem, which is the less, only 10, 10 km, but other if you see, this is 15, uh, this is 30, this is 25, this is 35. So Prem's uh, home is nearest to the workplace. So option B, Prem is your correct answer. Last one, given bar graph represent the number of viewers who was five different channels a b c d e how many more viewers was the channel b and c together than the channel e in b there is 400 it is c it is 300 and e is 200 so how much is uh, b and c together b plus c it give you 400 plus 300 does give you 700 so what is the difference 700 minus 200 this is give you 500 so option a is your correct answer so this is the uh, 10 questions of the second uh, mathematics uh, section uh, section so in these two videos part one and part two i cover all the 20 questions of the mathematics sections in the next video i will cover the reasoning and the scholar zone part 10 questions so please stay tuned with, uh, with my in my channel and please subscribe my channel and share my channel to among your friends so thank you friends i will see you in the next video